I'm not naive. It's not. It's, it's one thing you learn this pandemic is you know what you know. You don't know what you don't know. So we've got to maintain our vigilance. We've got to stay on top of this. Good enough never is. But we want to keep our kids safely back in person instruction. Still, Governor Gavin Newsom trying to get back to business as usual, talking about COVID today after defeating that recall election last night. More than 5.8 million Californians voting to keep him in office. And today, the governor spent his first post-recall day at a school here in the Bay Area. Thank you for joining us on Crowd 4 News at 5, everybody. I'm Grant Lotus. And I'm Vicki Liviakis. Governor Newsom visited an Oakland school today touting his administration's COVID-19 and school safety protocols. Our Crown 4's Dan Kerman reports. And I think that's a big issue in the country, right? We don't listen to each other. We kind of talk past each other. Fresh off a big victory in the California recall election, Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom visited with school children Wednesday at Melrose Leadership Academy in Oakland. In addition to wowing the young crowd with his basketball skills, Newsom took the opportunity to point out it's his administration's COVID-19 policies that are responsible for getting kids safely back in the classroom. We led with mask wearing, the first uh, school system in the United States, a state level to require masking to get our kids safely back into school. We followed that up a number of weeks ago, becoming the first state in America to require that there be vaccine verifications and or testing for all our school staff, not just teachers, paraprofessionals, all the folks that really make this school system work. We're proud of that. The governor said at this time there is no plan for a statewide vaccine mandate for students, but he did say California's approach based on science has created increased safety, and it's why so few California schools have had to close due to outbreaks. And we're proving that we can sustainably keep these systems open. I'm not naive. It's not, it's, it's one thing you learn this pandemic is you know what you know, you don't know what you don't know. So we've got to maintain our vigilance. Anybody else know what a special election is? The governor also reflected on his victory in the recall, calling his job as governor a gift. I feel enlivened, I feel more energized, and I feel deep sense of responsibility. The governor also said the recall has given him a renewed sense of urgency to get things done. It sharpens your focus about time. And, and things that you may have looked at on the horizon and said, you know, over the next two, three years, we want to get this done. You start looking very differently and say, well, what, what's possible in the next two to three months? So for the governor, no reveling in his huge recall victory. Instead, he says he's committed to getting back to work and meeting the challenges ahead.